Hello everyone, this is a quick look at the main build, main official build for the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Space Shuttle for 2023. The set has 144 pieces, all of which are used in this main build version, or the, the A model, and I built it live over on my Twitch channel. It cost me $10 US for this thing. It's a fairly decent size, well, it's a very decent size, very nice size box for just a $10 set, at least in the United States. And if a view products link shows up on your screen, then the product is tagged and you can check out some places where you can buy it. Unsurprisingly, given its size, price, and part counts, the shuttle looks fairly simple from the outside, but it's pretty accurate for its for its size. You know, I think the proportions are pretty good and the build of it is interesting. It definitely used building in a bunch of different directions. It's not 100% accurate, but to get it to be more accurate at this scale, I think it would require more specialized pieces uh, and or prints, stickers, maybe some really, really fragile stuff. And this is a six plus set, so it's intended to be to be able to be handled. And it definitely is able to be handled. It's it's nice and nice and sturdy, you know, something that mock makers don't have to deal with, custom builders don't have to deal with, is the need to make something six year old compatible and capable. But check this out. It has opening cargo bay doors. That's deluxe with even this with the gray here almost suggesting a mirrored interior for it. And then you have a Canada arm. Now, I really wish that this Canada arm had just one more beam so that it could fold up on the inside. I don't know if it would fit, but I would hope that there would be a way to make that happen with a little bit of just, you know, just some extra pieces. And then you have this satellite that you're able to deploy. And it's got a couple of spots where you can connect this together. It doesn't work for play, you do have to kind of get in there and, uh, you know, fake it just a little bit, but look at that. <laughs> you can, you can do that. That's pretty cool. And then you can pull off the satellite as, as its own thing. Again, this is a six plus set, so it's really designed for kids, but if you want to use it for play in a, or excuse me, you want to use it for display in a small space, they give you some nice tools for that here. This is a very generous interior. Uh, really, really surprised me. Nothing but, uh, Nothing but good feelings and, and appreciation do I have for, for that there. And just in general, I think that I got a really, really, really good value here for $10 US, 10 euros, nine pounds UK. You can adjust this uh, upper main engine right here, but that's it flat on the underside. Uh, the gray it might be a little bit odd to some folks. I might know what they were going for there. You know, after re-entry, it's a little bit, a little bit ashy. But you know, regular black probably would have been, would have been better for that. I didn't look up to see if they have that piece available in regular black yet. But this is really nicely finished for what it is. When you build the main model, these are the only leftover parts. Now I will take this back apart and I will build the other official. Uh, alternate builds, and I'll cover those in much shorter, smaller videos coming up. You get the astronaut with a smaller version of, of a flag being planted. And then this, Gradius Vic Viper. Once again, thankfully, they've got some some, <laughs> some fans of some, some classic sci-fi, <laughs> some classic gaming sci-fi at LEGO. So I look forward to those. Hope you do as well. Thanks for watching for now, and I'll talk to you again soon.